This is the yeah. first lady. Yeah. All right, okay. Yeah, so in that era, Kim yeah. Il-sung's, yeah. Uh, yeah, a translator, okay. Spanish translator. You were how old then? Seven um, years old? Or? Seven, yes. Right. Six or oh, seven, yes, yeah, seven. Mm. Imagine yeah. being the daughter of a notorious African dictator. Now imagine going on a state visit to North Korea, a country closed to the rest of the world. And now imagine being left there by your parents for decades. So when we arrived, I thought we were going there just for the, a trip with my parents. But I, was, I wasn't aware of why we, we were sent there until suddenly my mother disappeared fr from my life. When did you realize that mm. she wasn't going to come back? I thought she will come back soon, but that's all the time, oh, she will come back tomorrow, she will come back tomorrow, 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 tomorrow and never came back. And that must have been so traumatic. Yes, so it passed like years, one year, two years, three years, and after three years, then I think I, I accepted it that she's no longer there, she's no longer coming. So how coming. did you cope with that? I don't know, it was... <laughs> you cried a lot. <laughs> Sorry. I still, when I talk about that moment, it's very... Of course. ...difficult for me, I'm very sorry. That's um, okay. <laughs> Did you hate your mother because she'd left you? I think so. Did you reconcile with her? I couldn't. <laughs> it must have been so difficult for you. And then, of course, your father, the president of Equatorial Guinea, was executed. Yes. By firing squad. He, I mean, he was executed for some very serious crimes. I wasn't aware of sure. why. Yeah. They, you were too young. Yes, I wasn't aware of that. All I knew was he was killed. Mm -hmm. President Francisco Macias was killed in September 1979 after being overthrown by his nephew and current president of Equatorial Guinea, Teodora Obiang, in a bloody coup d'etat. He was accused by Obiang of genocide, mass murder and treason, found guilty and executed. Matthias is thought to have killed between 50 and 80,000 people during his regime and is now remembered as one of Africa's most brutal dictators. During his dictatorship, Matthias established strong ties with another world leader known for his human rights abuses, North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Il-sung, grandfather of the current North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Kim Il-sung's rule was based on prosecution and public execution of dissidents, along with enforced disappearances and torture. And yet, he took Monica under his protection. Your family history is extraordinary in its own right, but you were you were taken in, you were kind of nurtured, protected mm -hmm. by a government, by a regime that most people in the world think is abhorrent. Mm -hmm. And Kim Il-sung became almost like a sort of protector and godfather to you, didn't he? Um, yeah, protect, yes. And what was he like? In the beginning, we met him more frequently until he sent us to a boarding school. Mm -hmm. But he always was there over the phone through Okay, uh, so he looked after you? Yes, he made he sure looked, you were okay? Yeah, yes, he did. And he kept the promise he, he did to my, my, my father. He, he didn't, I mean, he didn't have to do it because my father was killed. He could have perfectly sent us back, mm. like Fidel Castro, yeah. that he did it with my elder brother who was studying in, in Cuba. Yeah. He, Kim Il-sung, could have done it. And he didn't? He yeah. didn't. So I do respect that. It's, it's so you owe him, really, your survival <coughs> yes, in many ways? Yes, yeah. If he, it wasn't him, maybe I'm not him. Did they treat you with respect, or was there any racism against you in North Korea? The racism in, in, in Korea is a different than what I experienced in the West. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Because in Korean case, as you can see, once they learn that I react and I speak like them, and then I act my manner the way I am, is like Korean. Immediately, it's, they broke sure. that barrier. But here still, sometimes I feel Why it. do you think the barrier persists here in the West? It's, it's kind of consequence of, of 
colonialism, mm. power relation. Your father wrote you a letter. Yes. I believe in which he said, "Be true to who you are." Yes. Study for. Study for Africa. Study for and Africa. Come back to Africa to build it because of the the consequence of colonization. Sure. Yeah. And here you are living in London. Maybe I'm still learning. Monica was a real orphan and a cultural one, learning Korean but forgetting her mother tongue Spanish, from presidential palace via North Korean boarding school to a life in London as a shop assistant. If I can tell them this is what I did, so when you're feeling bad, don't think you are going to finish there. Get up. On that note, Monica, thank you very much indeed. Thank you for having me here.